Today we're going to take a look at writing a percent as a fraction and writing fractions as percents. So we'll start here with number one, 35%. All percents are always out of 100, regardless if the percent is less than 100 or greater than 100. So I'm going to take the number, which is 35, and I'm going to write it as a fraction over 100. Because think of it like money, there's 100 pennies in a dollar. So this is like 35 cents or pennies out of a total of 100. Then the last thing we have to do is simplify it. So the greatest common factor for 35 and 100 is 5. So that would leave a simplified form of 7 twentieths. Number two, 100%. Again, I'm going to take the number and I'm going to put it out of 100. And here, since we have 100 divided by itself, that just equals 1. Number 3, I have a percent greater than 100. Again, I'm going to first take the number 174 and write it out of 100. This is an improper fraction. So if it's improper, I have to change it to a mixed number. 100 goes into 174 one time. There's 74 left over, over 100. 74 and 100 is still not simplified because I can divide each of those by 2. And in simplest form, it's 1 in 37 over 100. Number 4 you can see as a percent, but it's a percent and as a decimal. You still follow the same steps. And you're going to start by taking the number, which is 0 0.6, and write it over 100. However, with this, you actually have to divide by 100 first. So if you take out your calculator and you would put 0 0.6 divided by 100, you would see what happens is that the decimal point when I'm dividing by 100 moves one place to the left for each zero. So in other words, it's 0 0.006. Now, I still have not written this as a fraction. It's still a decimal. So I have to read this. My first place value is my tenths. Then I have my hundredths. Then I have my thousandths. So I read this as six thousandths. So in fraction form, that is six over 1,000. It's not in simplest form, and I have to divide the numerator and the denominator by 2. So I get a fraction of 3 over 500. Next, we're going to take a look at writing a fraction as a percent. So to do that, you are going to write an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100. Then you write the numerator with the percent symbol. So all of the fractions that we work with are going to have factors of 100. I start with 15 over 25. So I'm going to write an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 100. Just like we did with ratios or ratio tables, I have to ask myself, 25 times what number gives me 100? That would be 4. To keep it equivalent, I have to multiply the numerator by 4 as well. And 15 times 4 is 60. Now that I have 60 over 100, I can write this as a percent, which is 60%. In number 6, same idea. I have 19 over 20. I'm going to make it out of 100 because percents are out of 100, and then find an equivalent fraction. 20 times 5 is 100, so I also have to multiply 19 times 5. Now, you can use your calculator, but this is a great mental math problem. You could do 10 times 5, which is 50, and then 9 times 5, which is 45. When you add those together, you get 95. So as a percent, this is 95%. In my last example, I have a mixed number. When you have a mixed number, the first thing you have to do is change it to an improper fraction. So to do that, I take the denominator times the whole number, so in this case 5 times 1, which is 5, and then I take that and add it to the numerator, which is 7. So that would be 7 fifths. Once I have it as an improper fraction, I'm going to do the same thing. 
and write an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 100. 5 times 20 is 100, so I have to multiply the numerator times 20 as well. And 7 times 20 is 140, so my percent would be 140%. Don't forget to include the percent sign, otherwise it's just a whole number and not